good today for me anyways we got there let's see it's tuesday we got there first things first why is that accumulator the accumulator's flat on this loader yep it's just flat and i pulled myself in here running hardly got any room to get my logs anyways went uh got the mill going this morning everything's good Derek said they whooped his ass in therapy yesterday. And he said they had him pulling on a doodad and he's pulling 300 pounds with his shoulders. So, by golly, he's putting on it. Which is good. I'm glad to see that coming around for him. That's been awful, awful rough for him. But we got the mill rolling today and uh, went to the woods. It's Tuesday. Uh, January, the whatchamacallit. I don't know. It's in, it ain't in the teens yet. Oh, no, it is in the teens, too. He's like uh, somewhere between 10 and 13, I think, or 14. But, uh, <clears throat> rained last night, quarter inch, and we've been off since about the second week of December. sand pile and they thought heck with it we'll just try it anyways and gosh it was wet this morning and the job we're on it's on sandy ground but it's got these heavily eroded spots and my gosh it's it's too steep for sand is what it is <laughs> you know what i mean if it is clay or limestone it'd be a different story but it's sand and that daggone track cutter no more than nobody yet I'm sorry, I'm figuring things out by the day, but it is just a lot to learn. But, uh, I got over hill, so I got, and long story short, I got stuck bigger than all get out. I mean, this son of a buck was stuck, stuck, stuck. And not like the Din Din last year stuck, but it was stuck. It was plenty stuck enough. Get aggravated and beat on it. It don't leak that bad. 
all said and done, I'm going to have all new hoses on that beast. But this morning we did adjust the saw blade speed, and I forgot to take the time. So we just adjusted it by ear, but it, I think it needs to be. I think I'd like to tweak it just a hair faster. But we did get it tweaked for that. We did get the uh, the daggone ex uh, attachment valve bank on the. Uh, it's got like a. I believe it's a gear pump that's running the attachment valve bank. That son of a buck wasn't putting out. The main relief cartridge was set to relieve it. There go junkie. The main relief cartridge is set for to relieve at like 2,600 pounds, and it's supposed to be set at 30. Well, the factory says 3,700. Of course, you know me. I put about 3,850. <laughs> but by the time we got that all set and went through each component, some of them was set as low as. 30, no, some of them was set as low as 1,200 pounds on my arms. The rotate was down to 2,200 or something like that. So we got everything set up and the rotate does good. The arms clamp good. The only problem is the bottom, the bunching arms, uh, the arms with the little flippy doodads on them. I think I got a cylinder piston. I think I got a piston coming loose from the rod inside the can. Because when I go to shut it, it, it goes tuck, 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 and it only built up about 1,200 pounds on that function. Even though I got the relief cartridge screwed down to where it goes. So I don't know. I'm going to have to investigate that. I went ahead and emergency ordered Big Mama. How y'all doing? Big Mama went ahead and. Big Mama went ahead and ordered the uh, bad gun. You're watching this, Matt. My buddy off my top secret team. He had me get that. It's a Joby. It's for the phone, and it works real good. It's a Joby. Good, good. Come on, little Joby. There it is. Where that guy, that dog? Oh, Joby. Oh, Joby. Put that down. Don't fall, oh, Joby. Don't. Joby went and took it. Dropped a big old duke out in the ocean. Anyways, where's that? I'm gonna park down here at the mill because I'm gonna help him get started in the morning. Trying to start getting footage back in the morning. I'll put my GoPro on while he gets the mill started. Help get the mill started. need to adjust the jake brake on this thing i got mechanical everything's mechanical my oh, i'm getting ready to hit that wall am i gonna hit that wall mr by about a foot i'll miss your foot i'll miss your mile but anyways after i get them going i'll check my own get my bird going too after i get the bill going Why my steering wheel feels greasy, but it does. So I got, and I didn't get no footage of getting the son of a buck stuck because I was actually so that gun mad at that son of a buck that I was too embarrassed to be on YouTube Vidget today when I got Brutus stuck. But I'm finally getting my stuff together. Stevie's been picking on me. Finally getting my attitude somewhat adjusted back right and the feeling sorry for myself uh, toned down on this Brutus thing and finally I'll be half decent to be on the YouTube it's just between the Brutus doodad and the uh, top secret project and all we got going on I got in, in all the pressure from the summer and fall and stuff we've had this year I've just got my dag done but took off this Christmas and done them daggone revamp bitches, which y'all ain't watching. Shame on you. But, uh, to where I've actually got myself back in half ass, decent mood. Them monitors are changing up there in the resaw cabin. It's 
go up there and check in, make sure things out. We'll do a quick walk through, make sure the mill's looking all right. There's a trash. Yeah, look at Mitchell. See how far behind my paperwork is. Four six eight three three nine. Not bad. I'm a few days out. I'll catch her up here in a couple days. Oh man. Well, there you go. Twelve eleven and eighteen. I start a daily sheet at 035 and it's now about the same time a month later and I'm at 338 and that was that morning so that's probably that between them miles and these miles that gone boys been off a month that's why y'all's over that gone ain't been logging in a month but we got the top secret project done and all that good mess and working in the mill and stuff. That's been good. I've had fun. Y'all might not enjoy it, but I've had a blast getting to work in the mill, son. Whoa, Blackie, shut her down, driver. Shut her down. Go take a quick tour through the mill, make sure it's all right. Sawmill guys, if you're watching, well, no, I'll carry my trash up. I don't want everybody dogging on me. For throwing my daggone trash in the trash can, that's lazy. Anybody in there? Hey! I think they're good. Usually they scream, I'm taking a trip, leave me alone! <laughs> yeah, still on short maple. Here's how our maples are looking. There's some long, bigger stuff there. There's some white in that. There's some pretty good stuff, I guess. Some of it's not so good. Oh, there's a long one mixed in. Oh, that's a clean looking son of a buck. Not supposed to be so much long maple, but the upper grades, they'll take in longer. Oh, I gotta redo the... We got the camera off down here that's down there in the lumber room and that camera's off outside to the i'll oh, try to fix him real quick that camera's a good one though that's showing down where the turner man is so the operator the resaw can see back here in the back see there's a big blind spot around that head there and that helps him see there and then that's for the debarker man seeing the debark concave down there we got a i'm gonna change that next year or so i know i say a lot i'm gonna do a lot but time life always happens I end up running short of time but i intend to change that to where take that pinch point out bark concave 